Welcome to another AMA with Kadena Ecosystem. In this episode, we'll be speaking with the team from Swarms Finance. This conversation was recorded on July 12th, 2023, live on Twitter Spaces. The views and expressions in this AMA do not represent the views of Kadena Ecosystem directly and are not to be considered as financial advice. Please make sure to do your own research on the projects presented. Also, make sure to subscribe to our account to be alerted of new uploads. Now, let's get started. Enjoy. Welcome, everybody, to another AMA with Kadena Ecosystem. Today, we have with us the team from Swarms Finance. They are finally going live with their project, full release. People can now create their own DAOs built on top of Kadena with just some easy clicks of the buttons. So, uh, yeah, it's very exciting to uh, have the team up here and being able to speak. So uh, why don't we just start off, uh, whoever wants to take the mic first, and just kind of go through quick introductions about yourselves, and uh, we'll go from there. So whoever's quick enough to hit that on mute button, take it away. Well, I won't be bashful. Uh, my name's Curtis. I do the business development for Swarms. I've uh, been doing crypto for, since about 2017, and uh, love working with these guys. What's up, guys? Uh, at Squeegee, I do all the the programming and design and stuff for for our app. Uh, thank you guys for for showing up to our AMA today. I'll go next, uh, Amir. Uh, I like to work on lots of different things, and uh, I'm a I'm a huge fan of. Uh, getting these types of projects out where we can help others kind of build, uh, build their own product. Um, and we're kind of the, the in-between tool and, um, looking forward to building and, and helping people do integrations. Uh, and that's a blanket statement, <laughs> whatever kind of integration, big fan. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll take it. I'm Cameron. Uh, yeah. I'm a uh, spokesperson here at Swarms and yeah, just, uh, yeah, I'm more of the, the voice guy. A few of you know me already and yeah, I'm just happy to be here. Happy to be at launch day and happy to see what people come and build. Yeah, you might want to give Kadena Keeper the mic too. He's on the team. He's the community manager. Sure, I sent him an invite to speak. So if he wants to come up, he's more than welcome to join the show. And I'm uh, very happy to have all of you guys joining with us. So it looks like he's jumped right up. So I don't know if you want to give yourself a little introduction there and let us know uh, what you're doing over there at Swarms there, Kadena Keeper. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, my name is Justin. Um happy to be a part of the team i'm the community manager you can check me out in the discord come hit me up i'll help you out set up a wallet or anything you need come come by and see us awesome uh, a fellow community manager that's pretty much my role here at uh, eucalyptus and kitty in the ecosystem so very nice to have you all joining with us today and a very exciting day it seems like uh, you know you guys have been in beta for a couple months now getting all the kinks and everything worked out and you finally hit that uh, go live button which is very exciting to see uh, now why don't we just kind of start off with just kind of a quick um, recap of what swarms is all about because there may be some people listening to this ama and uh, haven't really been aware exactly of your previous history and what swarms finance is all about and even what a dow is some people are still probably kind of uh in the dark a little bit about what a dow really does and the things that it can do to help uh pr help uh, projects further their community further their development so i'm not sure who wants to take the mic here uh but uh whoever feels like they want to give the elevator pitch for swarms uh feel free to go right ahead sure uh so if you're ever in like the situation where you're on Kadena and you want to do something with a group of people, um, but you don't know how, uh, Swarms lets you do that. We let you make a DAO. And with the DAO, you get to make decisions with a group of people. You vote over what you guys want to do. Um, after voting takes place, uh, things happen. Uh, depending on how people vote, you can, you know, uh, manage funds together. You make decisions together. If you uh, want to, the, the way we started it out, uh, the way Swarm started was uh, I was working on other projects with, with other developers and we couldn't, we didn't know like how to, to trust each other with funds and things like that. 
Um, so swarms kind of came out of that. It let us, it let, it lets us come together and, and vote over our blockchain transactions. We vote over transfers of whatever. Um, and in a nutshell, that's, that's, that's what it lets you do. It lets you vote over things. Um, and then they happen on the blockchain. Um, and with that, with the ability to do that, uh, you guys can do can do things as a group. Um, you, the, the the what I like to see is uh, people build you know more projects and just use our use our tools to help help build trust with 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 their communities or with however they want to do it. That's what we're here for. We're here to to help people you know build trust so they can trust each other when they're doing stuff together. Yeah, I'd like to elaborate on that a little bit. Thanks, Carl. Um, so yeah, it's it's just a different a DAO is a different type of business structure. Um, most people are very familiar with the top down kind of pyramid structure of regular corporate America, where there's a CEO, a CMO, CFO, different layers of management, and a DAO allows people to work together. Um, in kind of whatever type of organization they want. So Swarms allows you to build a DAO. Uh, You could make it one-to-one equal voting. You could make it a weighted DAO based off of the funds that people deposit into the vault. Um, You could make it custom. There's a lot of different ways uh, that Swarms can do that. And, you know, you can really pretty much run any type of business that you want. And, what a lot of people probably don't know is we are Swarms DAO LLC. We are a DAO that built the DAO maker. We use our own tool. That's awesome. There's yeah, there's so we're just starting to scratch the surface of what can be done with DAOs. And uh, kind of like Squeegee said, it's really about building trust. And uh, that seems to be something that in a lot of the projects and ecosystems. Uh, they have to, a real problem with a lot of people, you know, you're, when you're going into a, a new, uh, say, NFT project or something, you are trusting that the original project founders and project developers are going to be on the up and up. And they're not just going to, you know, take all of the funds from their mint and disappear, which we've had seen happen in the ecosystem, or they're going to take those funds and make really stupid choices with them that don't really benefit anyone really in the project like i've seen projects where they um have they their founders are like from like romania or something like that and they decide oh we're going to take a bunch of the funds from our mint and have a big huge yacht party and invite all these people to come to this yacht party in romania and it's like well you realize that that's a very small small fraction of your ecosystem that's going to be able to take part in something like that, but that they make this decision all by themselves and just kind of are squandering away funds. Whereas, you know, you could do something as simple as making, setting up a DAO, making a vote and just having your community at least have that say. And that really is what DAOs are really meant to be is just to give the power to the community to drive the ship forward, as opposed to relying on the old school legacy top-down structure of you know this one guy at the top makes the final call and that's just the way it's going to be so you know there's so many different ways that you know you can utilize a DAO and provide that not just utility to your project but also structure so it's really great to see though that we have a platform because a lot of i think a lot of the uh, projects that have been running a kind of DAO system have been doing it in a very basic simple way of like, you know, through their Discord servers or whatever, just putting things up for votes using Discord bots or even just like simple emote voting, things like that, which can be manipulated and can be used against, you know, you can have uh, bots come in and bot vote, things like that. Whereas if you're doing something on blockchain where it's weighted versus, you know, someone has to actually put up some kind of financial uh, aspect to vote or has to put up their uh, NFT that they paid for to vote. It kind of takes away those uh, those kind of fails. It kind of sets a fail safe for the system so that people cannot game the system and use it for their own benefits. So, you know, that's just really great to see that we've uh, come to 
finally have a place where people can come and create these things that they want to and uh, do it in a safe and secure manner to help their own projects and help their own communities. Now, I think one of the biggest news that we've had this past week, besides you guys, you know, finally starting to go live, is that you are now an official grantee of the Kadena Eco uh, grant system. So I don't know if you guys want to maybe talk a little bit about uh, the importance of that and uh, some of the things that might be able to uh, be able to uh, help you further, you know, push the project along in the future. Yeah. So we're kind of, we're, we're kind of serving as an example. Uh, we, we, we made the dowel maker um, and we made a dowel using the tools um, and we're a grantee. All the, all the grant money was deposited into the DAO. Um, and you can watch exactly, we, you can see exactly what it's meant to do. You can, you can, you can visit our DAO, the, the Swarms DAO, um, and you can watch how we spend our money. Um, and that's, you know, that, that's the main, that's why you covered a lot of topics there, but that's the, that we had, we've had so many problems with with projects and i won't name any but it's been several of these raises you know for like eighty thousand kda and it just disappears um so we're we're kind of serving as a like an example of how we do things it, it kind of shows off the app curtis if you got any more to to add to that yeah um so you know, the, the grant process, of course, uh, like any other grant process, requires a lot of information. And we we built this application in, in hopes that we would get some funding, right? Because we, we don't sell a coin. Um, you know, we're not really selling anything. We're just kind of building something for the community. And, you know, we were confirmed uh, by Kadena that, that, that this is something that they were interested in supporting. Uh, we've had lots of contact with the business development team. Uh, we did receive the first leg of our grant. Uh, we do have another milestone, which, uh, you know, may or may not be completed as of today. And, uh, yeah, we all, what we do is um, we put together a budget and we all take a look at it and we vote on the budget. And uh, once that budget's approved, um, when the disbursement comes in, we will build the proposals in the swarm and then everybody votes on those particular transactions. And that's happened with us from everything from our marketing plan uh, to our budget proposals to, you know, bringing in new members. And uh, so that's kind of the advantage, right? Like, like you said, not one person making all the decisions, um, but anybody can make a proposal. And uh, for those that are joining us, uh, you know, we we went live today. You can find our app on Swarms Finance, and you can create your DAO uh, as we're speaking. Now, since you are fully live, and people can now go and create their own DAOs, uh, maybe someone would like to quickly just kind of go through the process from when I click launch app, and then you know click create swarm. Uh, just kind of maybe just kind of a easy step by step process of how people can go about creating their own DAOs. Well, uh, I guess I can take that question. Uh, so pretty much you just type in swarms.finance uh, in your browser and you'll get a nice, uh, beautiful UI that Squeegee and uh, has been working on. There in the top right hand corner, you'll see connect wallet. It gives you options uh, for several different wallets. Of course, at the top, we have Koala. Um, and then you've got Kadena Names, Echo Wallet, Zellcore, and Wallet Connect. And once you hit Connect Wallet and um, put your information in there, and I'm actually doing it as we speak. One second. Don't want to give you any uh, bad information. So then another interface pops up and you can click on new swarm um then you click on create swarm basically it asks you what the name of your swarm is you can put anything in there that you want um and then it asks for a short description uh, a lot of times uh, you know maybe putting a charter in there or whatever 
um, you think is relevant to the DAO that you're wanting to build. Uh, once you do that, you click next and it allows you to place an icon or an image in there. Uh, Squeege has some preloaded um, animated images that you can use, but if you want to use your own, you just have to provide a link to your uh, image. You click next, and then this is where it gets interesting. You can select your type of DAO. It can be equal, which is your one-to-one -one voting where everybody's equal and votes on everything together. Uh, there's the weighted DAO, where each member's voting power is determined by the deposits made into the DAO. Um, you could do controlled, where it's focused around the swarm's creator. Um, in a controlled DAO, though, the creator may add or remove people and give different people roles and positions. Um, and then you've got custom, which is kind of, you can decide however you want to do it. Um, then you click next. And uh, depending on the type of swarm that you're creating, uh, it kind of branches off into different fields to fill out at that time. But then you launch your swarm, um, the transaction takes place, and you can start adding members or you can add members as you create them with their K addresses. But it's, uh, it's fairly simple. I think that uh, anybody that has used Kadena uh, and, and probably any other blockchain can probably create a swarm in less than five minutes. Yeah, I did a little playing around myself too and kind of went through the UI and all the buttons and stuff. And yeah, it is super easy, super, uh, the, the the UI is just laid out absolutely excellently. You can see everything, you know, you, as soon as you click a button, it pops up your own little uh, inf interfaces. And, uh, you know, you have like your own little dashboard once your wallet's connected. So if you have created swarms already, you know, there is a section that says like my swarms and you can go and look at the different, if you have, say you could have multiple DAOs that you build, you know, you could see them all in one easy place and be able to con control and look through them. So, you know, it is definitely very well laid out. Uh, Squeegee's definitely, you've definitely done an excellent job on building this website and building out the UI. It is very intuitive, very quick reactive. Like you're not waiting very long between like you're waiting like milliseconds in between each page popping up. So it's very interactive, very quick, very well laid out. And uh, yeah, it's super exciting to see that, you know, people can now just, like you said, in a matter of probably less than five minutes, go through and set up DAOs with many different ways that you can do it. Uh, people, uh, this is definitely something that people are going to want to jump on and start utilizing and hopefully things that will help, like, like we said earlier, bring that level of trust to these projects. Now, um, since you guys have only been live, I don't know at what time exactly today you went live, but you've only been live pretty much for the, the a few hours, be it at this point. Um, you did have quite a bit of people helping out with the beta. Now, if you people in, if, if you were part of the beta and helping try out the DAOs and have built a, a DAO in the beta, can those people just bring their DAOs that they were in the beta directly over to the live platform, or will they have to recreate them? Yeah, so it, it's they're going to have to be recreated, uh, and that's you know due to due to the way the networks are split. You got testnet. And you got mainnet, and we just moved from we moved the application from testnet to mainnet. But uh, that doesn't mean we took all the every all the data that everybody put inside of testnet. So it's going to require that you you kind of you got to remake it. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> but that's that's just the way it is. It, so yeah. Now, currently, um, Swarms, when you make a DAO, this is going to be on Chain 1. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, and that, that's a good point. We're, um, it is a multi-chain app. Um, and, and the way it works is you, you start on Chain. Everybody starts on Chain 1. Um, and after your DAO is created, you can then migrate it over to another chain. So... Everybody starts on on chain one, um, which is uh, where where KDS is. Uh, there's a Dex on that chain. Um, if you want to use another app, like say you want to use like the the Echo Dex, which is on like chain two, uh, you would you know you 
you have to copy your Dell over to chain two. Um, and you only got to do it that, that one time. I um, mean, it's, it's copied over to chain two and you can start interacting with the apps that are on chain two, like, like the echo decks or whatever else there is on chain two. But, um, that's how it works. Everybody just kind of starts off at a central place. And from there you decide, you know, which way you want to go. Now, does that mean that you could have your DAO spread across all the chains or do they, is, does it only live on whatever one chain you specify it for? Uh, no, no, that's, that's, that's the way where you, when you, when you migrate over to another, I guess migrate is the wrong term, but, uh, the, <laughs> the term they use is to yank it over to, <laughs> you yank it over to another chain and it, it, what it does is it creates a, in a new instance on another chain, you can you can exist on all all the chains if you wanted. Um, you could just isolate yourself to chain one, uh, kind of like the Swarm DAO is right now. Um, but you could select you know whatever chains you wanted to to exist on, and um, each each time you you do that, you're 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 copying it over to that chain. That's what's going. on. Kind of, um, I don't know if anyone here was watching the Kadena campfire that they had today with uh, Will Martino, but they were kind of uh, mentioning that about how, you know, if every single dApp that builds on top of Kadena decides to choose chain one to build on, that it is going to end up causing congestion on that chain, cause fees to go up. So it kind of benefits to have your dApps spread across multiple chains so that you know if there is any congestion on chain one you don't have you're not delegated and restricted to just that chain so this kind of sounds like a really good way for people that if they want to create a DAO, they they can spread it across the chains to not have to worry about like how we've seen with uh when sometimes when projects come out with free mints for example, that can clog up a chain pretty badly. We've saw we saw that with a couple of the past free mints that have happened, where uh, it kind of bogged down the chain, kind of slowed down the transactions a little bit just on that one specific chain. But you know, spreading things across the multiple chains is kind of what Kadena was built to do and built to be, and the best way to really utilize the chain web. You know, the, those 20 chains are there for that specific reason. So just hearing that you're able to spread your DAO across all chains if you want, really is something I feel like uh, most uh, projects should just go ahead and do anyhow, because you never know maybe in the future if, uh, you know, you want to start utilizing other chains because, you know, say like something happens where Kadena all of a sudden blows up and we see this huge increase of, you know, hundreds or thousands of projects starting to build on the Kadena blockchain, we may, and you know, and they all are starting to choose the same chains. We may see those problems arise in the future. So why not, you know, plan ahead for the future and, you know, you utilize what chain web really has to offer. So, you know, that's really good to hear though, that you've, you've pretty much had that in mind and made it simple for people to be able to do that. And that's kind of funny that they use the term yank uh, it kind of, I don't know if uh, it, it doesn't really sound like a very technical term, <laughs> but, uh, you know, some of the terms that we have in the crypto space aren't really the most technical, like HODL and things like that. So it doesn't really surprise me that Yank is a, a term that is being used in the development world of the Canadian ecosystem. Now, uh, since you guys, oh, go ahead, Squee, if you have something to say. I, I was going to say that's funny. Yeah, the, the, uh, the term city. Yeah. That's that's Ethereum link though. I guess they kind of invented the the concept there, but it's just you know the the concept is you're you have like a a chain that you start on and you and you want to move the you want to copy it to to a, another one. So uh, I guess migration yank. I don't know so who came up with this. Uh, it's on the uh, Ethereum <laughs> Ethereum forum, so but that's that's what it's doing. It's 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 it lets you move your DAO to another chain, and then you exist on multiple chains. And uh, you know the reason, like we got Marmalade that's going to be on Chain Eight um, primarily. I don't know if they're going to move it to any other chains or or what, but you know that's that's one of the reasons for that. And then you got apps 
out there that are just they aren't on all the chains you know they'll, they'll the apps out there they'll often pick one chain right now and just kind of stick to it so we let you make your DAO and, and bring it to which chain you want to interact with uh, and we plan to kind of integrate more apps as they come out like if, if we got marmalade uh about to come to an you know a, a close here to where it's it's going to be finalized and that's going to be on chain eight um so we we plan to do a lot of stuff there with chain eight um and if there's any other apps that's being built you know that uh the community wants to see integrated with swarms we plan to do that too so if there's anybody out there building uh let us know uh this we'll see how we can we can get with you and, and integrate it into Swarm so that people can use the DAO and use your app at the same time. Well, it sounds like when it comes to integrations and bringing uh, new, exciting kind of projects to Swarms and to that ecosystem, maybe that's something that uh, Amir would like to touch on because I know that's what he's kind of been working on, building all of these awesome, amazing toolings for different projects and for different things in the ecosystem. So Amir, I don't know if you want to maybe add on to what you were saying there. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I think about, you know, with, with our chain, I think about, you know, where we, where we see success, where we don't see success, we obviously don't see high success in, um, in user adoption. And I think that's, that's okay. I think it's okay to talk about those things and, and how we can play a role and, um, you know, where, where somebody like me fits in specifically is I'm not worried about, you know, the multi-chain necessarily so much. I think that, um, a little bit more, like, if you think, if you think about one of our chains, right. And you think about chain zero, we probably could throw 10 times the amount of work effort. And it's a very, very chatty chain and it's still probably going to be fine, but you're going to start seeing things happen. Right. And, um, I know Will talked about that earlier too. Um, and, and so when I think about like, okay, so. I know that. I know, technically speaking, um, we're probably good. I'm hoping uh, we'll have some type of, you know, layer two solution that actually allows us to skip chains um, and kind of go in some abstracted chain where I can host, you know, different services that don't care about all these chains. And we still, you know, we still sync up to sync up to the layer one. And I think when you when you separate those things, there's like three different core components. Then you're left with Okay, so now how do I start integrating things, right? Because integrating things with with one chain is actually yeah, it's pretty easy. Um, you know, we don't have the the level of packages that an Ethereum has, um, but we're getting you know we're getting there, and I think that's where Kadena JS, for example, is going to come into play. And how we, you know, at at Swarms and and obviously you know I I talk about NFTs a lot, but um, I, I think if you it's the same thing as Squeegee said, it's the exact same thing. It's just diff- It's a different way to implement a technology. And so for, for me, I'd like to see, you know, I'd like to see me, you know, me personally, and maybe another, you know, a couple other people start to work towards meeting you where you're at. So, so why are we not getting user adoption, right? Why don't people want to come here and try this out? Well, because it can be painful at times. And, um, you know, I, I'm hoping, you know, that's probably a conversation you guys have for Koala Wallet too, right? How do we make this easy for people? And I think about it from a, from more of a technical perspective, how do I remove the technical perspective, right? And and it sounds silly, but it's it's absolutely necessary. And so, for for any, everything I'm you know I'm looking at everything I'm hoping that we can solve. I, I'd love to be able to. Um, I was hoping I could show everybody uh, uh, one of the Discord bots today, but even that, like we we vote on those at Swarm, so um, we can do things like stream your. You know, we we somebody brought that up earlier. We can stream your votes to discord right that's actually relatively easy anybody who's got access to a data node today can do that um without a lot of programming you know knowledge if you got to the point where you've got your own data node um i I don't think you're going to have any trouble setting something like that up um but then you think about that for a second so now i want to meet you where you're at and so i can take my DAO, i can use it how i want and now i can start doing different actions off of my votes complete Here's what I wanted to do when my vote's complete. And, and I start going through those processes in my head and I say, okay, so do I want to do that, you know, on a web page? I don't like going to web pages, so I'm going to put that in Discord. And so that's, you know, those kind of things I think are, are really good 
conversation starters where I think you're going to see, you know, at least I can speak for our group. Um, you're going to see Squeegee and I, <laughs> he probably, he'll probably get to it uh, before most, but you're going to see us starting to push um, those types of things so that we can get, um, again, it's not just the DAO, it's anything, right? We, we want to be able to meet you where you're at. And I think the the tooling, the, the, the different layers, the different chains really don't matter to the end user experience. And that's really, um, I think there's going to be something powerful in that and, and, and kind of breaking the mold that we have to do things a certain way. Um, just because it hasn't been done on our chain doesn't mean, I mean, those are pretty much all the, the things that I look to do, right? Those are enjoyable to me is making things that don't exist. Um, so when you think about integrations, anybody who hasn't taken advantage of asking me for something yet, um, you know, they're just missing out because most cases I, I'm a little busy right now, but most cases I'll at least get something started for you. Um, and you know, it's either you complete it yourself or I'll, I'll get around to it eventually. Um, but those types of things, you know, if you've got a big community, those are the groups that I personally want to target. I want to see those communities expand. Um, and, and I want you to have the tools to keep people engaged so that they tell other people. And so I think, um, at least if I could plug that, um, it's not a, it's not a paid for service. I just build these things as I've got time. So that's probably the longest short answer you'll ever get from me. Um, but I like to give those nice, nice, long, nice, long, non-answer answers. I do like the idea of bringing, uh, discord into the fold because like i said earlier i think a lot of people who uh before a, some a platform like swarms came to be they were doing a lot of their DAO and voting stuff just within their servers themselves so really building a bot that could bring the swarms platform to discord where people could do the, the voting from within the discord but it still is interacting through the swarms platform would really be the game changer and really just bring the volume and bring the DAOs to the system because it would just, like you said, it's it's meeting the users where they already are instead of pulling them into something new that may not be as familiar to them, you know, meeting them on their grounds and building tools to make it easy for them to take part in something even more secure and more valuable to their project to bring more um, security and to bring more transparency to what those projects are doing. So that's really uh, amazing to hear that, you know, you guys, you, you have a very robust team over there at Swarms that are thinking about these things and thinking about ways to bring the community, not just to Swarms, but bringing Swarms to the communities. And uh, another thing that you touched on there is making things as easy as possible for users. Something I've always said is that uh, blockchain is never going to reach mass adoption until we start making everything as turnkey simple as possible so that people don't have to, like a lot of people that uh, have even crypto experience come to Kadena. And like, I know when I first came to Kadena, like most people, when they first come to Kadena, were like, why do I have to move them to another chain to mint this NFT? This doesn't make sense to me. So the more that we obfuscate things and just kind of make it so that it is turnkey simple, click a couple buttons, boom, I've made my trade, boom, I've bought my NFT. That is going to be, I see, the only way that we're going to be able to move forward. And, you know, we, we, we told this whole, you know, chain web technology is the way that we scale and the way that we move forward and solve the trilemma and blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, you know, it is putting up a barrier for some people to be able to adopt and take take the technology really into their hands and make the most of it. So, you know, it's just but it's just going to take tooling to be built. Uh, I know like the Kadena team itself has said, even said these exact things that I'm saying now that, you know, it, it is kind of going to have to be the future where chains become kind of uh, non-existent in a way and they only are on the back end because, you know, people don't really need to understand how it works. They just need it to work which is kind of the way that, uh, and another thing that Swarms is doing really great too, is that, you know, simple, once you click connect wallet, put in your your wallet address or just click uh, open it up and con click connect through the wallet that you're using, you know, from there on in, it's very simple, very easy to use, very well laid out. You know, you're not having to write any kind of code or understand, you know, oh, I have to make sure I, set it to this or set it to that, you know, so it's just, it's just lots of examples of, um, 
making things as easy for people as possible. So really want to commend the, the great work you guys have put into Swarms and definitely is something that a lot of people are going to be jumping on, I think, in the coming weeks uh, to build their DAOs, get them involved. I know a lot of projects uh, have been talking a lot lately about wanting to get involved with Swarms and become part of uh create their own little swarm and their own little communities on there. So it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of this and uh, what kind of people and how they take it, take advantage of it. I know one of the projects I was talking to recently, uh, tech fleet, you know, they were speaking about how, you know, how great the swarm system is going to be and how they want to utilize it. So, you know, definitely have people probably lined up waiting to integrate with your system. So have you had, um, besides, you know, people just kind of hearing third hand parties, have you had any major, uh, Kadena projects reach out saying, you know, Hey, you know, we want to build our DAO in this certain way, uh, that may be a little bit more complicated than just the basic setups you have now. And, uh, have you been able to kind of come up and route around and kind of conform to the eccentric ways that some people have been creating these systems. Yeah. Yeah. And at first I agree. We got a lot of user experience stuff over here on Kadena. We need to hammer out. Uh, it's, 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 it's hard, you know, and I, uh, I come from, you know, you, you come from Ethereum and it's I like this for a lot of people, you know, you come from Ethereum and you're used to these, you like kind of learned and, and you assume things and then you come over here and there's this conflict of like, okay, well, I learned, you know, about the bot chain over there. Well, it doesn't necessarily apply over here. And that too kind of adds to this, like this learning experience, I guess, uh, it can complicate it. So it's real important. You know, we do our best to, to, to discover <laughs> we're, we're, we're still in the discovery phase of how all the, the user experience with all those, all these chains is supposed to work out. Um, and even today, you know, with, with where we're at right now with swarms, I, I've already learned a lot, um, about <clears throat> user experience, um, and it'll get better. Uh, we, we, we do plan to like do, a to learn from this, all of this that, that we've built so far and all the feedback that comes in and, and kind of correct those things and, and, and come out with a, a better user experience <laughs> because it never ends. It's not to me, it's, 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 we haven't discovered it yet. And, and, I. Uh, we, we, it's, it's just important because that's, that's, you're right. That is the thing that, I, I mean, it took me, I think it was like a day to understand what a K account was, you know, and I'm coming from like a key set, you know, like all this and, and, uh, we, coming from Ethereum is what did that is my assumptions, you know, and then you, you get here and I can only imagine, <laughs> what everybody else might be going through if they, they come from somewhere else, or even if they're coming to Kadena the, 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 as their first blockchain. But, um, yeah, the user experience part is, you, you don't want to confuse people and, and this, it, it frustrates them. And there's a few like me who are attracted to like the, the, the complexity that we had to deal with of, of, of how to present like this user experience that's really complex like how to hide all these things that must be hidden because it's if you just throw it at the user immediately that it, it overwhelms them and then 24 hours later they're still thinking about it and and so the user experience uh, we we're, it's just going to get better we plan to make a another version another dial maker um after learning all we did from this so um we're looking forward to a lot of the feedback that comes in as, as people do build more dows and at this point chris i forgot i forgot what your question was man i i i'm sorry i can answer the question um his question was about have we had any uh big projects come over or projects that have gotten with us that have 
complexity that we can work with and work around. And um, I, I will say we, we have had some challenges uh, trying to meet the needs of, of some very demanding, uh, I guess you'd call them clients, even though this is a free service. Um, but, you know, and, and I don't want to name any names or projects because, uh, you know, we don't have any former formal partnerships as of yet with people that are building on our platform. I think that we just kind of want to see how they work out and what they're doing before we officially say, yeah, we're, you know, we're behind this group. Um, but also to, to add to what Squeegee said, um, you, you know, the feedback is extremely important. And some of you know, I see some of the some of the icons and faces on here. Uh, we have a bounty program now um, through Zeely. And uh, one of the things that we request through Zeely is feedback. And in our bounty program, there's a lot of different quests that are basically tasks. And every time somebody does one, they get experience. And we're giving away rewards for that. So we've got 10 prizes right now. Uh, I think the first one is uh, 100 KDA and an NFT. And, uh, you know, we, we rank people based off of their experience. And most of it is just to help us get the word out, help us to create content. A lot of it is marketing centric. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really feedback is the one thing that drives a project forward. And, you know, especially when one that is built for a community to be able to run their own little DAOs and their own kind of communities within that ecosystem. So having people's feedback bringing of like, oh, you know, I uh, created a DAO, but it'd be cool if I could do X, Y, Z with it. Or, you know, we could change this little thing to make it, you know, more work this way or that way. Uh, all these things, all those, all that feedback is going to do is just drive innovation and just make the platform even better. So, you know, the more people that come towards and output that information to you, the better. And it's great to hear that you've implemented a kind of a bounty reward system because, you know, that will drive people to, you know, find not just not, I guess you could kind of call them flaws, but I don't really like to say the word flaws because, you know, everything is just a learning experience. And that's kind of the way you have to look at it when it comes to development. You know, you, you can't, nothing, no product is ever finished. There's no such thing as a finished product. Um, you know, you're always constantly developing, you're constantly changing, you're constantly growing and adapting, especially in the blockchain space where things are changing so rapidly from, you know, one day, one week, one month to another. New technologies are coming through, especially right now with uh, with Kadena and with their team building up their own dev builds and, you know, the JS team and everything building out. There's so many, uh, so much new stuff that's being brought to the ecosystem. Hopefully very soon in the coming weeks and months, we're going to see even more of that tooling opening up. Like you said earlier, the, the finalization of Marmalade, uh, Randy and his JS team building all of pooling, bringing more devs on to the team. So, you know, just all, it's just going to be a continuously growing ecosystem and people are going to need something like a DAO when it comes to making these decisions on which way they go in their projects and how they develop and move forward in their respective ways. So, you know, just really uh, Swarms is definitely going to be, I, I feel is going to be one of the next huge projects within the ecosystem. That's just going to bring even more people to it because, you know, it, it's it's just one more tool in a box to create an amazing community. You know, you, you start off with just an NFT and then you build a utility on top of that. And then you have your community, then decide where the project goes, how the utility is used, how it's, how things are utilized. There's just so much you can build out from just a small basis, but without that underlying tooling, of DAOs, of set standards, and all of those kind of aspects, there, there's not really very far you can go. Now, a lot of the projects that we have seen already built in the Kadena ecosystem have done an amazing job with the limited tools that they've had. So, uh, you know, just bringing all of these new things into the system is just going to make our whole ecosystem even more robust. And when things do finally start to pop off and we start to see a bull run and we start to see even more attention brought to the Kadena ecosystem, we're going to have these amazing tools in our back pocket 
and amazing projects built on top of them, utilizing them. So, you know, Swarms is just going to be one of those top projects, I believe, that everyone's going to start utilizing just because there's no reason not to, really. Yeah, man, that was that's all I can hope for, really, is uh, like that's why it's there is to help, you know, people it's like you, you've been here, you've seen the issues. I mean, the, the trust is very important and we're just trying to give some people tools to, to, to do that easily so they can keep going, you know, so they can build even bigger communities, uh, full of trust, you know, people working together, uh-huh. that sort of thing. So that's all I can hope for, man. <laughs> and congratulations on like, there's like, uh, over a hundred of these you've done. Uh, so. So thank you, man. You've you've done a lot of work for the ecosystem too. So thank you. Yeah, I've I've absolutely loved doing all of these AMAs and speaking with all of these projects. Like you said, I, we've seen a lot of the a lot of projects uh, come and go over the past year and a bit that we've been doing this. But uh, the ones that we've seen stuck around, it's been really nice to see how they've grown and how they've. Uh, you know, their communities have just blossomed and they've become these robust ecosystems of their own. Uh, so, you know, it's just really cool to see where things have been. And it's just a matter of like, you know, we're kind of in that lull right now where people aren't really sure if they want to be, you know, spending their, their time and their money on X, Y, Z building things. Even though I say right now is the, the perfect time to be building things. You, you don't want to be, building when the hype's there you want to be building when there is no hype and you're in this lull so that when the hype does hit you have something substantial you have something strong and secure that people can then latch onto and grow with you as opposed to you know trying to always play the catch-up role just to utilize and build on fomo you know it's much better to build on a very secure slowly built foundation as opposed to just kind of throwing everything together at the last moment and hoping for the best. So yeah, we've, uh, we've absolutely enjoyed all of our time here in the Canadian ecosystem and love talking with all of these projects. And uh, this has been uh, a few times that we've talked to all of you here in the chat. We've talked to you guys on different projects, different things throughout the ecosystem over the past year. You guys have all been all four or five of you have been, you know, very hard building in the ecosystem on all of your respective projects. I know like Squeegee, you've been around pretty much since almost the the start of the Kadena ecosystem uh, between, you know, your original projects to building out swarms and other projects you've worked on. Cameron's been in the community for a super long time as well. Amir has been kicking around and become a very prevalent person in the community. Curtis, between uh, all of his projects with uh, like Secret Garden and everything that they've all been working on has been absolutely amazing. And um, the Guardians that you guys are going to be coming out with very soon. Like there, there's just so many amazing things that everyone has been working on and just seeing it all start to come to fruition and be there for when the hype hits and uh, everyone's just going to blow up. And I believe that, you know, when that does happen, at least people are going to have a safe, secure place to build their DAO and make those decisions that they're going to need to push their projects and their communities forward. So uh, it's been very great actually talking with you guys today. And uh, I, I there's not much more I can say besides congratulations on finally going live, getting this system out there to the public. And I uh, can't wait to see all the amazing DAOs and things people are going to be building and utilizing swarms for. So uh, congrats to all of you. It's been absolutely amazing. Amazing run. Thank you, man. And we, uh, <clears throat> we made some some silly nfts uh we made like a collection it's called bubble gum now uh, we're giving them away as many as we can that's what we're doing with the zili tasks uh just wanted to mention that um uh, we we want you guys to, we want to give you bubble gum so <laughs> please uh, come by and, and and check us out and and see you can draw your own nft it's pretty neat it's got a little pixel editor and Come check us out. We're giving away bubble gum to to anybody we can. Yeah, it's got a built-in marketplace too, so you can uh, you can sell them after you draw them if you want. 
Yeah, I, I checked that out. It's uh, very cool, fun to play with. I was doing some uh, drawings, trying to draw a little pixel koala head, but I got I to gotta work up on my uh, pixel skills and maybe uh, do a little bit of uh, pre pre trials before I start actually turning them into some NFTs. Cause uh, you know, I, I always love, I love pixel art. I've always loved pixel art. I come from, you know, I grew up on Nintendo and pixel uh, video games and things like that. So all that pixel stuff always has, uh, you know, a, a nostalgic place in my heart. So very great to hear. So yeah, the best way for people to get involved with swarms right now, I guess is probably joining your discord, uh, getting involved there, joining, doing the Zealy task, earning yourself some cool NFTs, earning yourself some re- cool rewards, and then going to swarms.finance and building yourselves a DAO. Uh, don't be scared to go and just try it out, you know, build yourself a little DAO, even if it's something as simple as, you know, you and three other friends want to build something to, you know, just try it out just see how the voting works see how things work there's a very awesome uh, academy section on the swarms page where it teaches it goes through all of the different things that you can do and very good instructions on how to do all these things so everything's been very well laid out for you it's not hard to do it all like uh like curtis was saying earlier anyone can do it very simple very well set up so yeah, I want to thank you guys for joining us today. I know you guys have your own AMA to get into very shortly here, so I won't uh, keep you guys here for much more of your time, but uh, I want to definitely thank you guys for coming by. It's been absolutely great uh, celebrating this release and uh, can't wait to see what great things you guys have in the future for Swarms and for the Kadena ecosystem. Thank you, sir. I, I nominate Chris. It's... it's uh... We, we need to make an NFT, the Guardians. There you go. We need to sit now. <laughs> Curtis. Oh, I'm I'm sorry I missed the question. What was I nominated for? I said we, we, we need to make the we need to make Chris uh one of those Guardian NFTs. Yeah, I agree. Um so you know, for those that don't know, um Guardians is gonna be a token gated down swarms and we take nominations uh for different people in the community and we make them into superheroes and they will be a part uh people that bid on those and and win the nfts uh as, as a reward um get to participate in the business of guardians of the Kadenaverse. so yeah I, I think that that's a great nomination and uh i will pass it over to scott to build it well, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I've never uh, never been a superhero or an NFT before, so it would be very cool to see. So, well, uh, I want to thank you guys all for joining us today. Amir, Cameron, Curtis, Squeegee, all, and uh, Kadena Keeper. You guys are doing a great job over there at Swarms, and I highly recommend everyone to go give Swarms a try, join their Discord, follow them here on Twitter, follow all of their social media, get involved and become part of what's going to be the next big thing in the Kadena ecosystem, and that is DAOs. So uh, thank you guys for joining us, and we'll definitely be sure to make sure to have you guys back in the very near future and uh, talk some more about this. So thank you, guys. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate the space, man. You always do a great job at hosting these events, and we look forward to seeing everybody in the Discord. Yeah, same, same. Thanks Thanks for everything. Thanks for having us, and and we'll talk to you guys all later. Thank you, everyone. Well, that's it for us today. Thank you very much, everyone, for coming and listening. It's been very great talking to you guys. Make sure you guys go check out KadenaEcosystem.com. Check out our calendar for our upcoming AMAs. Do not miss out on any of these awesome conversations. And we will see you next time. Take care and have a great day. That wraps up another amazing AMA. Thank you for listening. Here at Kadena Ecosystem, we strive to bring an open platform for projects being built on Kadena to present themselves to the community. Please ensure to do your own research on the projects before investing. Also ensure to follow us on our social media from Twitter to subscribing to our weekly newsletter to keep up to date on everything KDA related. You can find all the links in the description below. Take care.